Ever have one of those trips where you have a plan, good weather, think you're going to catch a bunch of fish, but then you end up catching nothing, and then things go sideways? Well, this is one of those trips. So today we're just at Algonquin, and it's a week after ice out. Really nice weather, and we're just here for an overnight trip to blast out the cobwebs before we do our longer spring trip in a couple of weeks. So just want to get our gear dialed in and do a little bit of fishing. I did not remember that there was a stream crossing on this portage. Huh. Well, the water is a little bit cold and I did bring my waders for the strip. Thinking it was going to be warm enough. Should be okay though. Get some fishing done. We're on Daisy Lake now. So I've got a couple portages out of the way and yeah, should be able to fish here. down the Petawawa right now and the water is nice and cool so the fish should be here in the river but nothing yet fished up and down the stream here that way and also down there and probably about 200 meters down and no fish so going to head back to the boat and have some lunch and then get to our portage to go to the next lake for lunch today a half a pita two pepperettes Lettuce. Thought I might catch a fish today for lunch, but wasn't on the menu. So we're just gonna have this uh, pita wrap, and then we'll get going. Portage to Queer Lake from Little Misty. Pretty easy portage. The beginning is a little bit steep, but the rest of it's a pretty wide little ATV type road. This here is Queer Lake. 
So, oh, a lot of small tadpoles. No fish, though. Uh, it's about 7 o'clock now, and I trolled all the way across Little Trout Lake and didn't catch anything. Also cast it to some uh, structure, no fish. So, gonna go and look for a campsite, and I think the one right here on the very end of the lake is free. So we'll camp at this one. Makes our job tomorrow easier. I have left my tripod somewhere. And I'm not sure if it fell out of my bag on a portage or if I actually left it back at Little Misty for our lunch spot. So, it's uh, gonna be pretty dark now, but we gotta go find our tripod. So, I think it's uh, 7.15 right now. So, it's gonna take us a little while to get back to the lunch spot, but if we just continue paddling, we be there more. And down the trail we go to go see if we can find our tripod. Just left the canoe at the other end. I think we make it to a lunch spot if we just walk around the lake there. Now we're off the we're at the bushwhack around the lake. To get over to the portage. Ooh, it's almost been an hour and a half. Almost an hour and a half. Ah, oh, Mr. Tripod. Yes. Whew. We can make it back now. Oh, now we got bushwhack all the way back to our canoe. It took me about an hour and a half to get here from Little Trout. So probably going to be a little bit less than an hour to get back to the canoe. Okay, let's go. We are back on the uh, portage trail now. And it is 9 o'clock. So probably about a half hour walk back to the canoe now. Whew. We are actually now back on Queer Lake. I actually just went to the first campsite that was available and it's like 10 p.m. right now so there's going to be no one coming here and I can't make it all the way to Little Trout right now. It's just it's too late. So I'm going to stay here and tomorrow morning leave early 5 a.m. 6 a.m. and then start paddling out of here. So right now I'm just going to uh, start up a little bit of dinner and get that going. And then when I finish dinner, then I'll set up the tent. Not going to, uh, you know, mess around too much. I did pick up a piece of firewood at the end of the portage there. So I will cut that up and maybe have a small fire. But other than that, not going to do too much.
So today was quite a tough day because uh, we had to backtrack in the evening. I really wanted to stay on uh, a little trout which we were at and do some fishing in the evening. But I had to go back to get my tripod. So I had to circle back for a couple hours. And yeah, it was not easy bushwhacking. In hindsight, I should have brought my canoe. It is now 12.19 and going to go to bed. Wasn't expecting to get to bed this late, but we had to go back and get our tripod and that took about an extra three hours of our day. So, pretty beat, pretty tired, so going to go to sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. So this morning we're going to be having a little bit of coffee, we got a banana, what else we got, oh yeah, banana and crumpet. I don't think I've ever had a crumpet before but it looked interesting at, a, at the grocery store, so crumpet with a maple syrup. Good to have a warm beverage in the morning. And let's try this uh, crumpet. Looks like a pancake. Hmm. Similar to a pancake, but a little bit harder. Pretty good though. Got pretty chilly last night, not entirely sure what it got down to, but in the morning when I woke up it was five degrees. So it must have got pretty cold. So today we're just uh I'm gonna go from queer and head on back to the car and gonna do that pretty quickly, so just going to finish this, pack up my stuff, and then get going. And it's glass calm on the water. So, Paddle Horse Little Trout Lake, get through that, and then on to Ralph Bice. Let's go.
onto Ralph Vice and we toss out our lure. I'm doing some trolling. Maybe we'll catch a lake trip. We'll see. Just back on Hambo Lake now, and just one more short portage to get back to the car. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. And yeah, it was a good trip. Weather was good, and fishing was not great because we didn't catch any. And we almost lost our tripod, but we found it, so that's good. So hopefully in a couple of weeks when we go out on our longer trip, we'll be able to catch some fish when the water warms up a little bit more. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.